Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, from hypertension, from obesity, from skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing system. It's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis needs raw materials to do its work, but the system is designed to heal itself. And while it may look like a miracle, it's no miracle at all, folks. It's just the way the body has been divinely designed to work. If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, go to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. Likewise, my blog, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business. If you're a business-minded person, if you want to make a little extra money, if you want to make a lot of extra money, some folks are making a lot of money, if you're just interested in helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can be a distributor and you can join the Brightside Ben team. If you call 866-735-2470, they can tell you all about it. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Omega-6 Healing Cream, or our, or our Retinol 5% Gel made with a whole bunch of vitamin C, Truth Treatment products never have any preservatives, fragrance fillers, waxes, oils, silicones. By the way, did you guys hear about this uh, class action lawsuit against Wen Shampoo? If, you, if you're a TV watcher, there's a guy named something Chaz Wen. He's a hair guy, and he supposedly formulated a hair care system, and now people's hair is falling out. What's really interesting about this hair care system, I don't, I'll get, we'll get to talking here about vitamin E in a minute, um, but I just this is kind of interesting to me. I, I, after I saw all these uh, Facebook posts and, and Internet articles about the class action lawsuit from people using Chaz Wen's shampoo and conditioners, his conditioner system, I decided to do a little research to see what the heck, what was so special about Chaz Wen. Apparently, he's selling a lot of this stuff, and Gunthy Ranker and the, inter, the uh, infomercial folks are making a lot of money. So I decided to do some research and check into what, what his deal was and why people's hair was fall, were falling out. Or, I think 200 women filed a class action lawsuit that said their hair fell out in it. Uh, anyway, I went, I went on, uh, I did a little research, and apparently this is Wen's idea for taking care of your hair, Chaz Wen's idea for taking care of your hair. Don't use shampoo, just use conditioner. Yes, I'm not kidding. Don't use shampoo, just use conditioner, as if conditioner is better than shampoo, as if conditioner is less toxic than shampoo. He needs to listen, Chaz Wen needs to listen to our Bright Side episode from a couple weeks ago when we told you about conditioners and quats and ammonium compounds, not to mention... Uh, not to mention the waxes and the surfactants that are in your conditioners and in Chaz Wen styling products, etc. So, bottom line here is predatory businesses are everywhere, even if they look innocent and sweet and like they're really trying to help you out. Like Chaz Wen looks like a really nice guy. 
and by the way, he doesn't formulate anything. The, the, that's a stock standard formulation with a lot of essential oils. That might be one of the reasons why people's hair is falling out. Essential oils are really strong, and there are a lot of essential oils and other oils in the conditioner product. But I digress. I just thought that was kind of interesting. We're talking about uh, scarring. We're talking about uh, skin conditions and vitamin E. Yesterday we said if you burn or cut or somehow wound your skin, you want to load up on nutrients as soon as the skin is healing. Once the scar is there, it tends to be permanent. Now we talked to yes, uh, talked to a uh, caller yesterday, one of my one of my uh, intelligent callers. You're probably listening out there, Mr. X or Dr. X, and he said that he reversed his scars using nutrition. And and I got to thinking, you know, anything's possible in the body. The body's constantly rebuilding and regenerating. So yeah, it makes. I, I'm not going to dispute Mr. X's experience because certainly anything is possible. However, for the most part, the body doesn't care about about how a scar looks. A scar is functional to the body, and and it's there. Now, whether or not it goes away with good nutrition, that is debatable. And Mr. X has certainly. I'm not going to dispute his experience. So, and it makes sense that anything's possible in the body. But for most of us, a scar is a scar. Once it's there, the trick to dealing with a scar is to prevent it. And you prevent it by being healthy. And you, you, you're healthy by nutrition, at least partially, at least in large measure. So other things are involved, but nutrition is a, plays a, a major role in keeping the skin growing correctly as it's healing, internal and external. If you know you're going to be wounded, that is, if you know you're going to have surgery, or if you're going to get a tattoo or some kind of intentional scar for that matter, Start using nutri uh, uh, nutrients weeks before, especially fatty nutrients. High doses of vitamin C are also important. High doses of the B complex are also important. Amino acids are all important, but nothing beats the fatty nutrients for keeping the skin healing correctly, especially essential fatty acids, vitamin E and vitamin A, and also vitamin D. The sun is incredible, I mean incredible, for accelerating the healing process and keeping healing moving along. So pre-treat your skin with the sun. One thing you do have to be careful with the sun is you don't want to, uh, sometimes you'll hyperpigment, you'll get dark spots if you're out in the sun as the skin is healing. If you have a hormone issue or if you're malnourished, you're not getting enough nutrients, the likely, or if you're under a lot of stress, the likelihood of hyperpigmenting in response to the sun is higher, so you want to be careful with the sun. But if you're healthy, the sun is a great way to accelerate skin healing. Vitamin C, as I said, is very important. Amino acids, glutamine in particular, arginine is another important amino acid for helping stimulate healing or improving heal improve healing. The glucogel caps, glucosamine and chondroitin, components of cartilage can actually turn on the production of connective tissue. Cartilage is a type of connective tissue. It's mostly made up of collagen. And interestingly, when we eat little chunks of cartilage, that's what glucosamine is, it's a little chunk of cartilage, the body or the brain sees these little chunks of cartilage floating around in the blood. It doesn't know that it got in through a supplement. It thinks that there's been a wound. It thinks that there's little chunks of cartilage because something's breaking or something is dissolving and it turns on healing. That's how glucosamine works. It signals the body that a wound has occurred. It signals the brain that a wound has occurred and the brain responds by turning on the healing process. So using the glucogel caps a couple weeks before, three weeks before, or uh, and two or three weeks after you have surgery or after you hurt yourself, after you have a wound or a cut, can help accelerate healing. It's not just for glucogel caps or not just for arthritis, not just for joint pain. It's for building all connective tissue, and that means wound healing. Essential fatty acids, super important. I'd be loading up on EFAs pre-surgery if I was pre-surgery, and I'd be loading up on them after I got wounded or post-surgery. And then hyaluronic acid. I love this stuff, man. Hyaluronic acid is just a great all-around supplement, but it's also very important for helping turn on wound healing for the same reason that glucosamine is important. Hyaluronic acid is a component of cartilage, and when the brain sees hyaluronic acid in the blood, reads it in the blood, it turns on healing. Uh, let's see. Drinking lots of bone soup. Of course, that's always good. Anti-inflammatory bone soup supports the immune system, plus it has all those cartilage uh, cartilage factors. And then there's a really cool mineral that you don't hear a lot of folks talk about, although we talk about it periodically on this program. I'll tell you what that is. When we come back from our break, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about any, anything we're discussing today or anything involving health or nutrition or the longevity products or skin care or skin health issues, or if you just have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side. And every day on the Bright Side, we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchive.com. You can also purchase longevity products right off the website as well. And if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, including our retinol 5% gel, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so I love silica in the form of liquid silica gel or just in the form of silica gel. Now, it's hard to find powder silica gel, but that's really the way to go. Go to a compounding pharmacist and ask him to buy it for you. Compounding pharmacies have access to it. I had access to it when I had my compounding pharmacy. I got a bunch of it uh, before I sold it, and I'm glad I did. I use, I use uh, powder silica gel, and I turn it into liquid silica gel. If you can't find powder or it's too hard to deal with, to, it's too hard to get it, you can get liquid silica gel, and there's a couple companies making it. There are silica products that are um, small, tiny doses of silica, and they claim that they're, the manufacturers of these tiny doses of silica claim that you get be, a better penetration or better cellular penetration. I think there's a product called MicroSil. You have to decide for yourself. I haven't found that it's that effective. But I have found that liquid silica gel is darn effective, especially for hair and nails. Silica is a, a precipitating nutrient. Tissue grows around silica. Silica, you could think of it like a little seed, and stuff grows around it. It's said to be a precipitating nutrient, especially connective tissue, bones, and uh, collagen in your skin. Both of these systems are dependent on silica as a precipitating or a seed-like mineral. Stuff grows around it. For healing, it's unbelievable. It's also, as I say, very, I've noticed personally, although I I'm not sure of the exact mechanism. I've noticed personally that uh, hair grows faster and fuller when you're using liquid silica gel. Likewise, likewise, nails. You can always tell how healthy you are, by the way, by your nails. The nails grow really, really fast, and they will exhibit nutritional deficiencies pretty quickly. And if you have a defect in your nails, thin nails, brittle nails, spots in your nails, ridges in your nails, these are all indicative of nutritional deficiencies. And you want to be using your nails as a window into what's happening in your body. A good skincare professional will always look at a, her, his or her patient's nails. A good healthcare professional, for that matter, should always look at his or her patient's nails because you can always tell about what's happening inside the body because the nails are like an instant snapshot, relatively instant snapshot of what's happening inside the body. Liquid silica gel, silica in general, silica powder into gel, will uh, help stimulate nail growth too. Horsetail is an herb that has traditionally been used as a source of silica. Sometimes you'll see horsetail in shampoos. It's not going to really help you in a shampoo, but if you do horsetail tincture or horsetail tea, you may get some of the advantages of the silica. All these nutrients, by the way, that we're talking about as far as cosmetics or uh, uh, improving the appearance of the skin from a cosmetic standpoint or for wound healing are also very important for bone healing. If you break a leg or you break an arm, everything we've talked about in the last couple of days for improving the healing of the skin post-surgery, post-wounding, post-burn are all very important, all have equal importance and relevance when it comes to uh, rebuilding bone. So if you broke a bone or broke a leg, you know somebody who's got a broken bone, Go back to the archives and, and, and you want to keep track of everything we talked about for the last couple of days as far as the skin goes. It's also relevant for the bone. Connective tissue is connective tissue is connective tissue. It makes up about a third of the body. It's anywhere from 25 to 30 percent of the body. It doesn't matter where it is, whether it's in your, uh, your joints or whether it's in your skin or whether it's in your blood vessels or whether it's in your digestive tract. Wherever it is, if you do these strategies for building connective tissue, all connective tissue will be built up. Likewise, the opposite is true. 
If connective tissue is breaking up in the bone, if you have osteoporosis, if you got weak bones, you got weak skin. You got weak blood vessels. Do you see what I'm saying here? The blood vessel connective tissue is not different from the bone connective tissue. 